Welcome to today's edition of the Exploring Mining Podcast, featuring stock news from TSX, TSXV, CSE, ASX, NASDAQ, and New York Stock Exchange mining companies, plus interviews with CEOs and leading experts. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to the latest episode of the Exploring Mining Podcast. For news today, we've got the latest from Defense Metals Corp., Barrick Gold, Talon Metals, and COSA Resources. Just before we get into the show, though, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts here on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, as well as many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, starting things off is Defense Metals Corp., which trades on the TSXV under the ticker DEFN and on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol DFMTF. Defense Metals has announced an updated mineral resource estimate, its 2023 MRE for short, for the development of its Wichita Rare Earth Element, or REE, deposit in British Columbia, Canada. Highlights from that include a 4 million ton measured mineral resource averaging 2.86% total rare earth oxide, or TREO, a 27.8 million ton indicated mineral resource averaging 1.84% TREO, and an 11.1 million ton inferred mineral resource averaging 1.02% TREO. The company's CEO Craig Taylor comments, quote, Defense Metals is excited to release our updated mineral resource estimate for the Wichita deposit, one of North America's most advanced rare earth development projects. With over 10,000 meters of additional drilling completed since our 2021 mineral resource, we have now converted 100% of that resource to the measured and indicated categories, in addition to growing the overall resource by 17%. Importantly, we believe the upgrading of resources now demonstrates that we have established the tonnage and grades necessary to carry forward into our ongoing preliminary feasibility study. End quote. Stock for defense metals trading on the TSXV is down 2.44% at the time of recording, and on the OTCQB is down 0.3% at the time of recording. Next up, Barrick Gold Corporation, which trades on the NYSE under the ticker GOLD, has announced plans to double its copper production by the end of the decade and continue to increase to an estimated 1 billion pounds or 450,000 tons of copper per annum by 2031. This is according to the company's president and CEO Mark Bristow speaking to investors on an update call. Bristow also indicated Barrick's sector-leading gold portfolio, which was expected to increase the group's attributable production by some 30% to 6.8 million gold equivalent ounces by 2031. And stock for Barrick is up 0.65% at the time of recording. Moving along, Talon Metals Corp., which trades on the TSX under the ticker TLO, through its wholly owned subsidiary Talon Nickel USA LLC, has entered into a definitive agreement with the U.S. Department of Defense's Office of Manufacturing Capability Expansion and Investment Prioritization. This, with 20.6 million USD in funding from the DoD, will see the acceleration and expansion of Talon's efforts to discover and secure additional domestic supply of nickel for the growing U.S. battery manufacturing base and defense-related supply chains. Henry Van Ruyen, CEO of Talon, says, quote, This funding makes clear that domestic supply of nickel is a national security priority. Congress and the Biden administration have created powerful new tools to build up domestic supply of critical minerals required for clean energy systems and national defense. With this funding, Talon will be able to accelerate our efforts to discover domestic sources of battery-grade nickel and help ensure that the United States is not dependent on Russia, China, or Chinese companies operating in countries like Indonesia for nickel, 
that is needed in both defense platforms and clean energy systems. End quote. Stock for Talon Metals is up 3.85% at the time of recording. Lastly for today, COSA Resources Corp, trading on the CSE under the ticker COSA, has announced the expansion of its URSA project and the acquisition of the 100% owned Polaris and Eclipse uranium exploration properties in the Athabasca Basin region of Saskatchewan, Canada. Specifically, this means that URSA has expanded to 60,599 hectares, with two new claims totaling 3,530 hectares. The Polaris property covers 3,290 hectares and 9 kilometers of prospective magnetic low zones, and the Eclipse property covers 1,622 hectares. Stock for COSA Resources is up 2.7% at the time of recording. And finally, just a disclaimer that News on Defense Metals Corp. is a paid-for service on InvestorIdeas.com. Well, that does it for today's Exploring Mining podcast. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. InvestorIdeas.com reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. All investment involves risk, and this podcast is not meant to be an endorsement to buy or sell securities or products. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, and most audio platforms available.